Hi, welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. I'm Jeff Phillips. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw a pyramid like the one shown here. So first of all start with a blank file. Just a couple of housekeeping issues first. I prefer this view uh, without the page border showing. To do that you go to document properties under the file menu and remove the tick from show page border. Another uh, view that I like with the icons all up in this area is obtained by going view down to custom. OK, let's get started. Probably the best uh, tool for drawing this uh, shape rather than skewing rectangles and uh, fiddling around is just to draw each edge separately with the Bezier pen tool. So I'll click that. I'll draw the front edge of the base, hold down the control key, click, move along, click and enter to draw the first side. Go to the select tool or press S we can see that there. It looks a bit thin. I'm going to bring up the stroke and fill menu by clicking this icon up here and again I'll select the object. Under stroke style I can see it's 0.265, that's pretty thin so I'm going to go 0.5 millimeter, enter, click away and that looks a bit better. I'll click on it to select again, Control D to duplicate and I'm just going to move it up to about there. Now I'm going to draw the other sides and I deliberately don't want these all joined together because some will be dashed lines, some will be solid. So if I leave them individual it gives me more flexibility in the final design. So I click in the Bezier Pen tool again and you can see I'm clicking onto that uh, end of the segment there. If you're not, if your Inkscape isn't doing that, check your snapping options up here. I've got uh, you know, snap nodes, paths and handles turned on, and snap to cusp nodes, and I think that's the one that does it, but uh, you can play around with those. So click, click, enter, and over here, click, click, enter. You can see when you're on the node from other lines uh, across appears. Now I'm going to find the centre of that base by drawing diagonals. Click, click, enter, and click, click, enter. Now I'm going to draw the height. Now I'd like to click onto that intersection there, uh, or a midpoint, but it doesn't seem to be happening yet, so I'm going to have a look up here. Yes, this one snapped to midpoints of line segments. If I click that on, yeah, there it is. Click, hold down control to move vertically upwards, click, enter, and select, and then click away. Again, some of those lines don't look to be the, the right thickness, but we can change that uh, at the end. I'll go back to the Bezier Pen tool and fill in the sides. Click, click, enter, click, click, enter. Once more, forgetting to press enter, click, click, enter, click away. So there are all the key lines shown. Now I'm going to make them all, I'll select the whole lot with a marquee and under stroke style, uh, I can see, I don't know why this has changed it percent, but I'll change it back to millimetres and change that to 0.5. Sometimes Inkscape gets a bit confused and a bit buggy but uh, you can usually work around it. Enter. There we go. You can see they're all the same thickness. Now let's uh, deal with the hidden edges and make them dashed. I'll select them all by shift clicking. That's one, that one, the back edge. Uh, having said that I've probably lost track so I might just go and change the style to dashed down here, click away, yep, yeah, look, that's okay, oh, look I might change the base diagonals to dashed as well, that's sort of a bit optional I guess, but shift click on both of those, change it to dashed as well. Okay, now you could leave it there, you can label uh, the vertices with letters or the edges with dimensions and so forth. But what I'm going to do is highlight a few particular parts of this pyramid. 
It uh, sometimes helps to explain to students uh, by colouring different faces or if you're asked for say the the angle that um, you know a base makes with the a face or the angle that an edge makes with the, the base uh, it can help to show those triangles. So I'm going to do a click the Bezier pen tool again. Let's do the base. I'm just going to click my way right around there as one continuous polygon or rectangle in this case. Click and I'm going to change I don't want that to override the dashed or the solid lines I already had there. So holding down shift and clicking this red cross in the white square takes away any border. But I want to put a fill. I'll put a yellow fill in there. Now that seems to have obliterated my diagonals. There are a couple of things I can do about that. I can send it to the back by clicking the select tool and sending to the bottom layer wise. And I might just lower their opacity as well by looking at the fill and under the alpha channel or the opacity drag that down to you know, about halfway, click away. I'm also going to, let's say we wanted the angle between a sloping edge and the base. I'm going to draw the triangle that helps visualize that. Click, click to the top and back. Shift click to remove the border, the white cross in the, the red cross in the white square. And the fill, let's make it red. You can leave it solid if you like, but I'd again like to lower the opacity down to something like that and click select or click away. Uh, if you wanted to highlight the height perhaps we could click on that. Uh, we'll notice that's actually clicked on the the um, red triangle. I don't think I've actually clicked the height. I'll try again. No. Clicking twice on the same object produces the rotation handles which we don't want at the moment or you know don't want to do that for example so control Z. One trick in Inkscape is holding in the Alt key, select something behind something else. So I'll try again, there it is, and I've got the height. I'm just going to look at the stroke style and increase the thickness up to maybe 1.5 just to really make the point. And shift click to make it red. Click away, and you can see the height more easily there. If you look at the top, it looks a bit rough there. I'm going to control mouse wheel to zoom in there. You can see there's a, a bit going on in this area. So I might just lower that, that red uh, height marker. Maybe if I round it by clicking over here. It seems to have made it worse, but I'll actually drag it down until it's under there. It might make things a bit better. The other thing I can try and do, I mean if I zoom out it probably doesn't look too bad now, but if I click on that line and shift click select that line, then the node tool and drag around here, I might be able to join those two nodes. Yeah, that seemed to help. Click the select tool, control mouse wheel to zoom out again. And that looks pretty good. So that concludes our tutorial on drawing a pyramid in Inkscape. Thanks for watching.